Hi, I'm Vinit Devaya. I'm the CEO and founder of TeleportMe.com, one of the leading virtual true software providers in the world. If you're watching this video, there is a very high probability they're interested in the Trisio campaign. If you have not heard of it, please go to the link above, trisio.teleportme.com to know more about the campaign. All the information about the campaign, the dates, the prices of our packages are going to be on that link. Don't forget to subscribe also to our YouTube channel and also to, uh, to that link so that you can get email notifications when the campaign is fully launched. I wanted to make this video as part of the blog post that I've written, the link of which should be in the bottom of this YouTube video, or you are at the blog page that you're watching and reading uh, right now. So when we first started the conversation with the Trisio team, they talked about how they had a lot of experience in creating 360 cameras. And I had not heard of them. I'd never heard of any product they'd built before. So I kind of dug in and said, listen, if I'm gonna promote your product, if I'm gonna work with you guys to create a campaign, I need to know more about your company. I need to dig in a little bit more because I have never heard of your company, right? And we have been in the industry for 12 years. We have large corporate partners. Uh, we're, I think the only product in the virtual tour space that goes, has deep API integrations with large Fortune 500 companies. The interesting part for me was they were not hesitant to talk about their company. They talked about their previous products, some of the products, should be in the blog post that we talked about that is in the link or somewhere over there. And it was really interesting for me because they have actually been doing 360 panoramic live video, which is far more difficult than doing 360 photos, like an order of magnitude, like 10 times, right? And I then, I also looked at, they have actually a 360 camera, which is like 12K and uh, like very high resolution video. Uh, that's used by like very high-end professionals, only sold in China exclusively. And it, it kind of blew my mind because I was just thinking, okay, these people have all the possibility and the and the capability to build one-shot uh, cameras just the way Rico works, the way Instant360 works because their cameras have four lenses, five lenses, I have six. It should be easier for them to create a dual lens camera than creating a single lens because it's just the way it works. So once I figured that out, I just kind of asked them and you'll see in the blog post, my, my all my questions were like, why did you decide to do a single lens camera? Uh, this was a very important question for me to understand because it kind of went against the tide of what the 360 cameras that were being released were doing. And they had a really smart answer, which I had never thought about. And the answer really was that all the 360 cameras that are dual lens are gonna get more and more expensive because camera sensors are gonna get expensive. You need to have two camera sensors, you need to have two lenses, everything needs to be double. Then there's like the image quality issue. So if the, if you're trying to just do 360 photos and you're doing the, well, you wanna do the best 360 photos with the least amount of money spent on creating these 360 photos, the better option is to actually do a single lens uh, system. This makes sense because now they're, if they want to go high, more high resolution, they only have to invest in one bigger lens and one bigger sensor. They don't have to do two of each, right? So that was really smart. I, and I never thought about that because I was just thinking about it as following the trend and but they were thinking about the market. They were thinking about the price. They were thinking about, okay, what is the market that we want to target? And this was a discussion I had with them too, because I'm sort of a techie, you know, I love technology, I love algorithms. So I was trying to like understand, all right, you know, tell me more about like your optical flow stabilization, if you have any. And they were like, listen, we've been doing this for, I think since 2016, and we have all the capabilities from a te technical standpoint. And this specific camera was actually like the easiest camera they could build. And to be honest, if you look at the other products and if you go to the link to the blog post, you will see that their other products are far more complex, far more difficult compared to the Trisio camera. Uh, and so it, it was kind of just something that I would, did not expect uh, from them. And so that gave me a lot of confidence that this, this is a legit company. This is not like a fly-by-night startup that's just built their first product and have no idea what they're going to do. They had really thought about the market deeply they talk about pricing deeply they thought about like product positioning very deeply uh, and i thought that was really smart of them uh, i i i think that the next versions of trisio are going to be amazing uh, the one thing that they have 
always said is that their focus is cam is photos at this point of time. They want to be the best camera for 360 photos, specifically for like indoor situations, real estate, architecture, uh, construction, those kind of things. They want to be like product for that scenario with the highest resolution and the highest value. And I think that given that the system that they have decided to go with a single lens rotating, I think it's, it's, it's actually quite uh, a great idea. The other thing I, I had a huge question on, and I think a lot of uh, people have a question on is the rotator, you know, because like the rotator seems to be a point of failure for a camera, which is generally sort of tossed around, not really taken good care of, especially from a travel perspective. And also, you know, it's, it's, it's a mechanical part. That means it has a total life value of like a certain amount of rotations. And so that was my second question is like, hey, all right, you got you got the, you got the image processing correct, and you got you got your camera stuff properly. But what about this rotator thing? And they sort of like their eyes widened widened up, and they were like, "Oh, this we have spent way too much time testing the rotator. Like the most toughest part of our product is the rotator. It, it is the part that we have tested." way too much and have spent hours stress testing it to make sure that it is the best rotator that they could make uh, with, with whatever they had. And I think I have heard of some cameras having this rotator issue, but a lot of them seem to be doing quite well. If, if even our test camera seems to be doing perfectly fine. Uh, af even after you've taken a couple, you know, more than uh, enough stress testing. So I think the rotator thing is an issue, but given the confidence with which they talked about, the testing they've done and like how much time they've spent on the rotator. I think I'm pretty confident they've done the best job that they could. Uh, so those were like the two big things that I wanted to cover in this video uh, and also in the blog post. Like one is just how uh, smart they were in thinking and planning out the product and using the technology that they already had to come up with a product that was unique, uh, of great value and provided great results. And also that they have, they understand that the rotator is sort of the only point of failure that they have, and they've put in a lot of effort to fix it and do the best that they can, I think. Uh, it was it was actually a very good conversation with everybody on the team. Uh, you know, I think uh, I wanted to thank the Tricia team again for giving me the time. Uh, in, the, in the next blog post and in the next videos, we're gonna talk more about what we discussed in that interview. Uh, but I think for now, this should be good enough. Um, well, uh, that's pretty much it from me uh, for today. And I hope that uh, if you're interested in the Tricio camera, you're interested in a great price for the Tricio. Like, I don't want to talk about it this as a way of like, trying to say that there's a sale. There is a sale, right? There is a sale. There's, there's going to be a phenomenally reduced great price for the Tricio camera. But that's not the point of this campaign. The point of the campaign is to educate the customer, educate the users, uh, build good content for Tricio and for Teleport Me. And hopefully, you know, that this campaign will be a success in just educating uh, the customer about the company. So that, that's the whole idea of the campaign. But yes, the prices are going to be super good. So definitely go to the website on top, tricio.teleportme.com and sign up. And I am really sweating. I mean, it is, it's really sweating. Um, so, all right, uh, take care and I'll uh, stay safe. Bye-bye.